Today I'll take up data file handling and we'll be doing how to delete a record from a file. <clears throat> we have seen like how to write to a file, how to read from a file and uh, how to search for a record in a file. Now after searching a particular record, supposing you want to delete that record, then how it is to be done? That's what we are going to see today. <clears throat> hash include iostream.h hash include fstream.h hash include stdio.h right okay now I am taking the class employee in EMP number care name 20 care department 10 float salary right and then we had two methods in this uh, in the public declaration void get data I call it as void input and here you have all your scene statements like you write C out enter the name And then, sorry, enter the employee number. And then, <coughs> see in EMP number. Then, see out. Enter the name. And then, and here you have see in name right then see out enter the department and then and see in department see out Enter the salary seal salary right then the next method is void display wherein all the data is displayed so I write this uh, C out EMP number And here you have the EMP number, right? Then within quotes, I write <coughs> name. If you want, you can put it on the next line like this, right? See out name, and here name and end in. See out department. out salary and then like this okay right? then we'll put one accessor function which is uh, int get EMP number <coughs> this accessor function will return the EMP number right so with that the class is closed now we'll come to the main method in which we'll be writing the code for deleting a record <coughs> okay now int main 
Now I am going to make two objects of this class EMP. I call it as uh, OBJ1, comma OBJ2 like this, right? Then if stream if stream file one here the name of the file m.dat comma ios input mode right okay here i need the off stream class also i take off stream file two now here i take a file called temp.dat and this is opened in the output mode right okay we take one integer e number and then one character variable flag I call it as y I give the value y for that and one more character variable confirm and initially we give this as n right okay now look at this here see out uh, enter the employee number whose record you want to delete And here C in this is the E number that you have taken fine okay now we have the while loop while not file one dot uf now here I am having two files the if stream that I have taken here this if stream this statement this is the file from where I am reading right okay so I say while not file one dot uf the object here is file one right so I will start from the beginning of that file one that is m dot dat and go till the end of the file okay now let's see what we are doing here now inside this while loop I write file one dot read. I have to read the record, the first record, care pointer, ampersand, obj one. Right. I take that first object that I have made, and I write size of obj one. Okay. This I am reading the first record from that file emp dot dat. Right. Uh, m dot dat. Uh, then after reading the first record I check if obj1 dot get emp number is equal to equal to e number here I'm checking whether the emp number of that particular record is equal to the e number that is entered by the user so this um, get emp number this is the accessor uh, function that we have written here this accessor function returns the emp number of that particular record so whatever is the emp number of that particular record that comes here that is compared with the e number entered by the employee suppose the employee enters 1001 right and if the emp number of that particular record is also 1001 in that case it will enter this if condition and inside this if condition we write um, obj1 dot display uh, the function display which displays that particular record right okay mm -hmm. and then I write found is equal to here I had this flag is equal to initially I'll take this flag as false. I'll put this F here. Right. And here I write flag is equal to true. That means this particular record has been found. 
so as soon as the record is found i change the value of that flag from false to true right <coughs> okay now before deleting the record i ask the user whether he is sure about this whether uh, are you sure you want to delete the record something like this right and then the user enters his choice see in confirm right the variable here you have taken care confirm that i am i'm taking the input into that variable see in confirm if confirm is equal to equal to no supposing the user says that he is not sure so he will enter n right <clears throat> in that case we write file 1 dot write okay it's file 2 here i have taken two files for writing for output uh, it is the second one of stream file 2 like this right okay hmm so if the user says that he is not sure then we write it to the temp file file2 dot write care pointer ampersand obj1 comma size of obj1 so that particular record is written to this um, file2 object what is this file2 object this file2 object contains this temp dot dat so that means this record is written to the file temp dot dat right okay hmm? else else means he is sure that he wants to delete right okay now this else here one second okay after this i close this uh, bracket that is the while bracket right okay hmm? if bracket here right okay see there is a bracket here while not file1.eof after that you are doing this this is the if condition the if condition bracket is starting here right this one and after doing this this is the end of your if this is the end of if condition fine okay now the condition for if was if obj1 dot get emp number equal to equal to e number if it is equal to equal to the number e number then it will do all these things that is if the number that is entered by the uh, user is the same then these things will be done else now else in that case if it is not equal we'll write file1 dot write sorry file2 dot write Care pointer obj one comma size of obj one. So here again, if you don't get that particular um, record, then it is written to the temp file. And if the user is not sure that he wants to delete it, then again it is written to the temp file. Right? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Now. once you come out of your while loop this is the end of the while loop here i'll write it this is the end of the while loop right okay after coming out of the while loop i check if flag is equal to equal to true the value of flag was set equal to true if the record was found right okay so i check if flag is equal to equal to true in fact uh, i should write it as flag is equal to equal to false first we'll put it as flag is equal to equal to false 
will say C out record not found right and end it fine uh, since there is only one statement inside this there is no need for this curly brackets right okay hmm. then the file 1 is closed and file 2 is also closed right then we say remove this file emp.dat emp.dat is removed and the file temp.dat is renamed as emp.dat temp.dat is renamed as emp.dat fine now again you open this file file1.open that is the object file1.open and I open emp.dat and this is open in the input mode right okay while not file one dot eof now this is uh, the second loop here now the record has been deleted and I am going to show the uh, contents of the file after the deletion right file one dot read air pointer now I am using the second object that we made obj2 comma size of obj2 if file one dot eof that is if I have reached the end of the file then we can break right break out of the loop otherwise it is obj2 dot display so it will display that particular <coughs> record so one by one it will display all the records and finally I say file one dot close and return <coughs> zero with that I come to the end of the main method right okay now here this place this is where we were actually writing to the temp file so I'd like to just explain this once again now as I said supposing the employee numbers are like this 1001 1002 1003 like this there are three employee numbers and suppose I want to delete this one right so the user enters 1002 first this particular whenever this the second record is read okay then I come to the statement are you sure you want to delete the record okay let's start from the first one the first one is read it is not equal to the e number entered by the user the e number entered by the user is 1002 right okay so it comes to the else part here and in the else part we are writing to the temp file right so the temp file it gets that 1001 right okay now the second record is read it is equal to this now now the user is asked are you sure you want to delete the record if confirm is equal to no then it is returned supposing the user says confirm is equal to y then this record will not be written here right okay this is deleted this this is not written to the temp file fine then again we go to the third one 1003 it is not equal to this so it is again written to the temp file so at the end of the while loop your temp file it contains only two records like this now I am renaming this temp file as emp.dat fine after that when I display this uh, records from emp.dat it will be only two records 1001 and 1003 that 1002 is now deleted understood so with that I come to the end of this session on how to delete a record from a file